Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back again to the channel. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Hopefully, you're going to be getting into being with your family. You're going to do cookouts or stay in the house because it is kind of hot. And get that uh, grill going and, and cook the other food in the house. And you, if you haven't close-knit families over, um, do your due diligence. Check and see who had, you know, gotten their injections, meaning the COVID injections, and who haven't. And check for the tempest, temperatures. It's nothing wrong with that. Everybody just trying to play safe in the uh, world of living and life. All right, because it's still out there, and the um, what do you call it? It uh, the amount of people getting it is spiking kind of high again. So be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, but we're going to be talking about Portia, Portia, Portia the Williams. Okay, Portia the Williams, and how she is parenting her daughter. And these are the things that I like to see. I know Portia has it in her. But sometimes she just likes to show more of that single side of her. And not of the mothering side of her. Now if we're talking about rebranding. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to be cautious and say. I think you would do better without Simon in your life. Maybe as your companion, your boyfriend, and stuff like that. Until he can show and prove actually what he does. You know what I'm saying? Because we need to know what he does. The whole world that's tuning in to your life wants to know what Simon does. We want to see his employees. We want to see his drivers. We want to see the manufacturing, the comings and goings of his day and not just taking pictures inside of his house okay no that's not going to work anymore because the city is opening back up waking him back up so we need to see him in his office complexes okay yeah all right so we can see that we really think you need to rebrand by yourself focus on your careers and your investments and your daughter meaning your daughter being first and then the others who coming behind that i am so glad you are spending a lot of time with your daughter okay these are the moments that you will always look back on when you get in your 60s and 70s and cherish all right the more time you put in with your children the more time they're gonna put in on the back end when you get a senior citizen okay they're gonna make sure you're good because you always made sure they were good they're gonna make sure you're cared for and loved because you always made sure they were cared and loved for okay so I adore this. I mean, uh, I don't know if you certify, Portia, but you were jumping out in the ocean when y'all was over there in Mexico and you came back amicably. So I'm guessing, I'm praying, hoping, and wishing that you can definitely secure um, the capability of teaching uh, PJ better practicing habits dealing with water because that is a silent killer now i do see that glass of uh beverage of choice i'm just gonna say it was ginger ale in there but that was that'll be piss poor parenting and watching and observing when you're trying to teach your daughter how to swim we don't need to be incapacitated we don't need to be in a lull meaning a, a, a slow state of mind especially when we're around water now i did tell your glorified boyfriend while he's putting all that nice furniture around the pool we need to have some gates up there because we never know what the little people are going to do when we're preoccupied in the inside and they have their own ideas on what they want to do behind your back okay this will be a bad bad decision to have pj one day want to go out and swim she don't want to tell y'all because she's in her little um what do you call it her little individual 
mode of existing and she thinks she has her own personality and her own ways of how she want to do stuff because if you remember the terrible twos right well trust and believe they are terrible from four to seven years old as well they have a mind of their own they think they know it all and they go and try and test you we do not want her to be tested when it comes to that water and she's the only one there okay and then y'all haven't heard from her in a while and then you go out and find her that would be a piss poor type of situation and i don't think anybody would show you mercy portia okay so you might need to talk to simon about putting some gates around the visible pool i mean the optics are pretty if we were talking about adults but then adults can drown too you know they can get too incapacitated with the beverage of choice that they're drinking and you know things can happen that way too you can get a cramp you can possibly hit your head not knowing you hit your head anything can happen and water again is a, a silent killer okay because i know pretty much about it because i almost drowned when i was like 16 i believe uh but luckily i had other swimmers around me and they got me out the pool when they saw i wasn't coming back up you know i'm like damn i'm sitting up here thinking watching my life flash before me and shit and they still ain't seen me come up and they gonna say well we thought after the fact we, you, we thought you could swim because you did that beautiful dive in the pool and you know <laughs> yeah and it was my fault because i didn't tell nobody i could swim i just thought if i jumped in the pool everything would come to nature and i would swim like a fish but as we can see i saw like a uh, uh <laughs> i saw like that pretty blue diamond that lady threw in the ocean at the titanic okay it just come it just kept going down 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 and down all right but anyway, enough about me. We're going to talk about Portia. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love all the optics except for that brown liquor back there or ginger ale, like I said. I didn't like that too much. And I, I'm thinking that's some SP40 um, screen protector or um, we call it um, barrier protector sunscreen from uh, getting cancer and stuff of that nature. But yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. And um, we never really questioned portia being a good parent we just always saw her wanting to live her single life and then when she wanted to play the mommy role she would pick up where she left off and we were telling her that that was piss poor parenting first and foremost the lord should be in your life as first the second when you have children will be your children okay if you're a single parent now of course um we have the mother mothering nature when you are married the uh, proper way of doing things is having God first, then your husband, then you, and then the children. But hey, anything can be tossed up between uh, after the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to have a man who's not worldly, but into the world. I mean, not worldly, but into the Lord and the good news and what he wants to see as a family progress. But Portia's living like two different worlds, really three. You know, we're going to go over the three. It's more so what Candace is doing over there. You know what I'm saying? But it is, is what it is. She didn't really tell us, but she didn't say she wasn't either. So she might be a little bisexual. But it's neither here nor there. I just thought I'd bring that up because I'm telling her. You all, she's living three lives in my eye perspective. Now, for all the time, I just see him as a... I don't even see him as her lover. I'm sorry. It's just the, the story that she's trying to make us believe, portray. It just seems like it's another contract. You know, it's like, make me, um, what's that movie called? Can't Buy Me Love. Y'all remember that one with Patrick Dempsey? I don't forgot the other girl's name that was the leading actress in that movie. But it was like, if you can, I'll pay you if you can make me popular. And to tell you the truth, that's exactly what she did. But then he got ahead of himself feeling himself and all that he got caught up in the whole madness and he ended up losing in the end anyway okay but she wasn't um she wasn't uh left from a little uh embarrassment herself okay but it was just is what it is you know you need to come correct be who you are and if the person don't want you or whatever just step step leave you know it's no problem you good you'll get somebody else sooner or later but I think it's more of a contractual agreement between Simon and Portia. Okay, uh, she wants to be an actress and she plays her part real well. I just don't see no chemistry. I've tried to get them a bit of a doubt. Sometimes they do take pictures and it can be believable from the optics. But then you have to see the comments and goings of what they put on social media, how their body language is. And, 
you know, I don't know, maybe it started off as a contractual thing and then it led to something else. Poor she want more. She wants that family life, the husband, the wife, and the family. And I guess we'll have a dog sooner or later. The, uh, the perfect picket white fence, okay? But I'm like, ah, you know, it is what it is. Poor she's going to do what she want to do. Even though we keep trying to tell her certain things, show her certain things. But, you know, she's going to have to keep uh eating until she gets full enough of the shit and then she might straighten up the flat right but when you're trained from birth to seek out wealthy men just as long as you got a good figure and a nice looking face it will get you into all the right places and uh, meet, get you around all the right people where you can possibly have a suitor but like i said um we know nothing about simon really we really don't and he's not trying to be a part of the part he has to play which is to show us what actually he does okay um and that's going to be a bitter pill to swallow for when you're trying to have him in the midst of the career choices you want which is the entertainment life if you're not willing to show some parts of your life and we can verify it in a sense then what do you have you know he's just get, trying to live through you vicariously through your connections that you have and do you really want that Porsche at the end the ground end of things do you want somebody that's there to partake of the people that you know and the famous people that you know and he's not really showing you anything on his side I mean yes you met the rapper or uh, music artist uh, billionaire son David Davido um david though or y'all know what i'm trying to say um but it, it he looks better with you than you with simon again and then some of my family members are saying you use filters on poor uh, on uh father time to make him look younger is that true girl are you using filters because see i don't know too much about using the phone and it's uh apps it has on it to make you look a certain way you know unless i'm i'm um, looking at nene because she's always looking like she got something else going on in her pictures uh that question is she really that color is she really that you know uh cute or whatnot because nene ain't no ugly woman don't let me give y'all the impression that i feel she is it's just that she has like this all this glowing stuff you know going on so i can see the filters in her stuff but i really couldn't tell but you know my um uh, family members over here on youtube they 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 be knowing about some shit so i can't say they're wrong i just have to keep looking and uh try to point things out because they really put me straight if i ask them they they come through and help me out with the right response but uh yeah it's no shame portia of being by yourself raising your child until you meet that special uh someone that can give you the love and attention and make it believable because right now you and simon are not a believable couple okay you, you just unevenly yoked and unevenly matched all right because, uh, yeah. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I wanted to show and prove that I am not uh, a hater of Porsche or any other people that I talk about. I hate their ways that they carry themselves, you know, because it's a darn shame when you have so much positiveness uh, in your life that you have to mix it with a lot of drama-filled negative stuff, you know. And that's all I have. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. And then I'm going to go on to another video. Alright, but I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.